Yo guys, I made a new sexuality now, actually. It's called Super Straight. I'm really hoping what today's video is on was started as a joke. Even if it was a joke though, it's still not very funny, still damaging. Hi, my name is Mars. In this video, we're gonna talk about being super trans in a super straight world that's super phobic against super trans people like me. Yo guys, I made a new sexuality now, actually. It's called Super Straight, okay? Since straight people or straight men is myself, I get called transphobic. It's called Super Straight. Yep, basically, it's just a new term for transphobe. So we're gonna take a look at what the very popular trans YouTubers are saying about Super Straight. One thing that I would like to add to this is that I probably think people are calling him transphobic because he just outright said that trans women aren't real women to him. Nobody's forcing you to date somebody that's trans. Like, you literally, you could do whatever you want. This is literally just a way for them to be openly transphobic. The real thing that this person seems to be very confused about, and that is very wrong to be saying, is that trans women are not real women. That's the transphobic part. I mean, I hope this isn't super phobic of me to ask, but if trans women are real women, then what is a trans woman? Trans women are women, and there's no real slash not real divide, just... That is it, trans women are women. And there it is guys, there's absolutely no difference, zero divide between a biological female and a trans woman. It's all the same. And just to clarify any sort of confusion between what a woman is and what a woman is, I'm going to provide you guys with a few images of what a woman is in 2021. Nobody is forcing you to be with anyone you don't want to be with. But saying that trans women are not real women and not respecting trans women as women is very transphobic. Yeah, no, we're not forcing you to date trans women. We're just reminding you that trans women are women. And if you don't agree, you're transphobic. But also, you don't have to date trans women. It's just that if you don't include them in your dating pool, then you're discriminating against trans women and you don't agree that they're women. So therefore, you're transphobic. The other almost laughable thing, actually, yes, laughable thing, but also slightly sad if we don't laugh or cry, is saying that you are now identifying as this new sexuality of super straight. You know what is laughable is the fact that the LGBT carries on for fucking ever. LGBTQQIAAP. And nobody, or at least most people, don't fucking know what any of that shit means. You know what else is laughable? regardless of whether you're trying to disguise it as some new sexuality or not. Doesn't matter what you label it, still transphobia. Just like I could start calling an orange a slipper. Does not make it true, does it? An orange is not a slipper. An orange is an orange. Transphobia is transphobia. Unbelievable. The amount of fruit phobia coming out of Jamie's mouth is disgusting. Why can't I call a banana an orange and an apple a pear? And how dare you question my eyesight, my perception, how I identify fruits. I mean, I'm just saying, if a woman can be a man, and a man can be a woman, you know, we can be non-binary, we can be fucking, I don't know, we can have other kins out here, why can't I call uh, a burger a, a chicken nugget? Like, why, why is that so fucking crazy? <laughs> and unless you're going to have every single person you date genetically tested, you are never going to be able to enforce that. You know, the sad thing is, Jamie isn't a stupid person. Jamie is an ideologically possessed person, which therefore makes them say really stupid things, okay? Nobody goes around saying that they're going to only date somebody who is XX or XY. That's not actually a thing. Sexual orientation is not a choice, right? Sexual orientation is something that exists. And because some trans people, like Jamie, see the world through a gender identity lens, they don't understand what sexual orientation is. They don't understand how it works because to them, it's all based on your gender identity. Sex is irrelevant, when in fact, sex is very much relevant. Not that I wanna get into my sexual orientation in this video, but because we're talking about being super straight and our super sexual orientation, why the fuck not? Let's do it, okay? So the most popular question that I've ever been asked is what my sexual orientation is. I mean, I have had a handful of people obviously wonder about what is in my pants, which I don't consider that to be transphobic. I, I understand the curiosity, but the biggest question for sure is like, when it comes to dating, 
who do I date, who dates me, what is my sexual orientation? And I feel like it's normal to wonder what that is because when I meet people and they don't know I'm trans, obviously from the outside, they just see a dude, right? But then they find out I'm trans and now it changes. Now they're like, well, I am attracted to him, but they actually are a biological female. What does that mean? Um, it depends on who I'm talking to. Some people are physically attracted to just a masculine or feminine appearance. That's fine. Some people are only interested in a person's sex, in the sex that you are born as, be it a male or female. It doesn't matter how you identify because they are only attracted to males or females. You could be a very passing man or woman, but if you are not actually a born female or male, they will not be interested in you. That is not transphobic. That is somebody's sexual orientation. And there's nothing wrong with that. Now, if somebody asks me, hey, what is your sexual orientation? I always say I am interested in women. Now, personally, I've never been somebody who cared about labels. I've never felt attached to my sexual orientation. I do, however, recognize that sexual orientation is based on your sex. So if we're being 100% technical here, as much as it sucks, as much as I don't want to be included with a group of girls, I know that my sexual orientation as defined is technically lesbian. I know that. That's nothing shocking. It's just not something that, like I said, I've never felt connected to that in my past, nor in my present, nor will I feel connected to that in the future. Now, if I'm dating a woman and that woman is a lesbian and she feels like we're, I don't know, some lesbian couple, personally, I don't care. As long as they don't expect me to like rock that label and, and be all fucking hoorah, I'm a lesbian, like then I don't give a shit, you know, because at the end of the day, if I'm happy dating a girl, that's really all I care about. I don't really care about the labels. I don't care about any of that. It doesn't matter to me because it's not directly impacting my day-to-day -day life. Now, personally though, if I'm dating a girl, I tend to see their sexual orientation as being bisexual. I understand how some people might think that that's wrong or they don't agree. I don't, I don't care. That's just how I see them. Because to me, I just don't understand how there's not even a little bit of bisexualness to a girl that's dating me when I look the way I do. And I totally understand how there are butch women. I'm not arguing that, obviously, but I would think that there's a difference between a butch woman and a trans man, in my opinion, anyways, because I don't think my experience is the same as a butch woman. So again, like I understand how there's going to be some feminists that will disagree and that's fine, but my lived experience continues to be that of, I'm just another dude in society. And therefore, if a woman is attracted to me, is she attracted to a woman or is she attracted to a man? But again, sexual orientation isn't complicated until you throw in a trans person because we add something a little bit different to it. Sure, yeah, if we base it off of sex, then lesbian couple. If we don't, then what's going on? Bisexual couple, straight couple, I don't know. It really depends on who you ask. But like I said, at the end of the day, I try to respect sexual orientation and I just leave that the fuck alone. I don't, I don't fuck with it. I don't care about it. I'm completely happy just dating a girl and whatever the fuck that make, makes us is whatever the fuck that makes us. As long as I'm not forced into celebrating a label, then I really don't care. I just want to date somebody that I'm happy with and that's it. This poor guy did not realize the power of words when trying to be transphobic effectively. Trans women are women. They are women who are born women. Their gender has always been woman. And that right there is exactly why hashtag super straight exists. Because people like Jamie will argue that sexual orientation, it's its not a choice. You could, you could date whoever you want, it's fine. But then they will carry on and on about how a trans woman was born a woman. They will shame and make you feel guilty because you are straight and you refuse to date trans women who are women. But like I said earlier, the issue with people like Jamie isn't that they're stupid, but that they're ideologically possessed. For them, being a woman and being a man is literally based on identity, how you identify. If you say that you're a man, you just are. If you say that you're a woman, you just are. Hold on, she just showed a video of a dude saying trans women aren't women, and she's not arguing against it. Nothing like a true trans ally to get triggered on our behalf over what a real woman is or isn't. Are you kidding me? So let's talk about this because it's so controversial to say real man or woman. So if somebody comes up to me and says, Mars, you're not a real man. My reaction, I guess, should be 
to argue that. To argue it until I'm blue in the face and I convinced them. But why? Why the fuck do I give a fuck? Because I don't. You can tell me that I'm a goddamn idiot, you can tell me that I'm not a real man, and you can tell me that I'm goddamn ugly. But none of that is going to mean anything to me because I just simply choose to not care and carry on living my life. What am I going to gain from arguing and choosing to be upset over you not perceiving me in a way that I would prefer you to? I mean, I'm still gonna wake up tomorrow morning as Mars, and that's gonna happen without your validation, so... And I just don't... Why does that fucking matter so much to you guys? I, why do you care? Okay, like, at the end of the day, there are trans people, and there are people who are not trans. And these are two separate groups. When I sit down at a restaurant, the waiter doesn't know that I'm trans. The waiter doesn't know that my sex is female. It doesn't fucking matter. The waiter sees a man, and that is it, period. And that's the whole point of medically transitioning. If I didn't on some level believe that I could transition to be a man in some sort of sense, I would have never done it. That's like the overall point here. It helps dysphoria, but also I'm able to go live my life like just another dude out there. And that's fucking awesome. Now, whether or not that makes me a real man, a trans man, I don't even fucking give a fuck because all I know is that my day-to-day -day experience is just that of another dude. Doesn't matter that I'm real, not real, trans, not trans. That isn't something that is brought up. So why do we care so fucking much when somebody points it out? We shouldn't. And in fact, like I said, there are trans people and there are not trans people. So we're either on board with the idea that trans people exist or we're not. And if that makes you uncomfortable, then I guess you should never mention that you're trans. But it's very interesting that these trans YouTubers love to bank on the fact that they're a trans YouTuber. They love that shit. Most of their subs, if not all of their subs, are because you're trans and people want to get educated by you or something. So it's cool to be a trans YouTuber, but hey, by the way, don't mention the fact that I'm a trans guy because I'm a real man. Like, dude, fuck you. Make up your goddamn mind. So what it boils down to is you want to have your fucking cake and you want to eat it too. You want people to praise you because you're trans, you're special, you're part of this oppressed group. But also, you want to be a part of the real authentic men and women. So I'm just saying, you're either trans or you're not trans. If you genuinely believe that you're just a real man, a real woman, then you should no longer mention the fact that you're trans ever. Completely erase that from your life. But you're not gonna do it because you know why? Because you bank in on the fact that you're trans. That's how you get a lot of your fucking subs. That's how you get a lot of attention. That's how you fucking make money. So fuck off. No, it, it's not, it's not rapey to say that it's transphobic to have genital preferences. It is wrong, but it's not rapey. You know what? I'm sick and tired of all these super straight people not super dating me. So I'm coming out and I'm saying that my name is Mars and I'm going to hashtag this shit super trans. I'm only dating super trans people. That's right. I'm excluding everybody except for point something of the population in my dating life. How about that? How about that shit, you straight fucks?